Hello, Miss Molly. Oh, hello, Stuart. I just thought I was popping and... To tell you the truth, don't quite know I did pop in, actually. To see if there was any sign of the old fellow, eh? Yes. There can't be, can there? I mean, he's been gone for over three weeks now. Ah, oh, that's nothing. One time, I didn't see him for months, and once more, when he did turn up, he had a new face. He could have been a completely different engine. No. He knew if he went back there, he, he would completely destroy himself and never see him again. I got lost in the time vortex. The art brought me home. Oh, Henry, why did you have to go back? I, I had to face my fear, Molly. I had to face my fear. That was m m m more important than us going on living. Please don't die. Dear Molly, don't cry. Well, this life. <laughs> It is all right. He's not dead. No, I don't think I can take much more. I'm sorry to have startled you, my dear. Won't you introduce me to your friends, Miss Molly? Oh, um, yes. This is the Reneus of the Choji. I mean, it looks like a Choji, but it's actually Camp of Poche. I think. Thank you. That makes everything quite clear. Henry is alive. You're wrong, he's dead. All the locomotive parts of his body have been devastated by the metabolic crystals. But you forget, he is a time engine. I will give the process a little push and the parts will regenerate. He will become a new engine. Literally? Of course, he will look quite different. Not again. And you will shake up the brain cells a little. You may find his behaviour somewhat erratic. Well, it will always happen. Well, there's no time like the present, is there? Goodbye. Look after him. Now, wait a moment. Look, Brigadier, look. I think it's starting. Well, here we go again. <laughs>